In this video, I'm going to be going through everything you need to do to get the best FPS, lowest input delay and best ping while playing any game of your choice. If you do find this video helpful, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and if you run into any problems, just leave me a comment and I'll try and reply and help you out. So the first thing you're going to do to increase your FPS is click the Windows key and search for background apps and once you're on here, make sure you turn off background apps. This will just make sure that all of these apps down here won't be running in the background while you're playing your games. You can also go onto the task manager and then go to start up and make sure that anything you don't want on here is disabled. So I only have Epic Games Launcher, my mouse software and my Discord that open when I turn my PC on. So any other apps on here that you don't want opening such as Opera GX I didn't know this was enabled and it has a high impact on startup so I'll disable this and once you've done this this will make sure that the apps you don't want don't open and run in the background while you're playing. Now we're going to be going through the Nvidia control panel settings so if you have this on your computer you're going to click adjust image settings with preview in the top left and then you're going to click use my preference here and you're going to drag this down to performance and then you're going to click use the advanced 3d image settings apply this and then you're going to click the blue button that says take me there once you've clicked this you're going to want to copy all of these settings i have here to get the best fps so i'm going to scroll down so you can see the settings Once you've copied these settings, you're going to click configure surround in the top left here and you're going to click this box here and select your graphics card. You don't want to put it on auto select or CPU because if you put it on auto select then it could have a chance of using your CPU on games and you want it to use your graphics card because this is the most powerful thing. Once you've done this, the next thing is preference and it doesn't increase your FPS at all but I like to do this anyway. If you click adjust desktop color settings and then you drag the digital vibrance up to around 80% it'll make your game look a lot more vibrant so if you can see the picture here default it's on 50 and if you turn it up it really increases the vibrance so having it around 80% is the sweet spot so if you want to do this you can and then click apply and that's all of the settings done in the Nvidia control panel. The next thing we're going to be doing is running our game in high performance mode. To do this, you're going to right click your desktop and click display settings. Scroll down until you see graphics settings and then you're going to want to have your game on here and then you can click options and run it as high performance. To do this, you click browse and then you go to where your game is located. So say I wanted to do Valorant for example, you'd go to Riot Games. Valorant live and you'd click here you'd click add I've already done this so it would appear here you click options high performance and save the next thing you're going to want to do is enable high performance inside windows so to do this click the windows key and search for power and click choose power plan then on here you can either choose high performance or ultimate performance not everyone has ultimate performance but if you do, I'd recommend selecting this. If not, just click high performance and then you've enabled it inside Windows. The next thing we're going to be doing is going to increase our FPS loads. So to do this, you're going to search for advanced system settings and click view advanced system settings. Click settings here, click adjust for best performance and then custom and then tick animations windows when minimizing and maximizing animations in the taskbar show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts once you've done this click advanced click change select the drive that your game that you're playing is installed on so mine's the c drive then click custom size and set both of them to 4096 click set 
and then you can exit out of all this. The next thing we're going to be doing is clearing a bit of space on our hard drive and this can increase your FPS because you've not got as many temporary files on there. So to do this click Windows R, type in percent, temp percent and then OK. Click Control A to select all of them and then delete all of these files. You don't need these files because they're just temp files. So once you've done this, click off this and then click Windows R again and type in temp and you can do the same thing here. And then once you've done that, click Windows R again and type in prefetch and then delete all these files as well. Once you've done this, make sure you go to your recycle bin and delete them from there. See 401 items, saves up a lot of space and has a good chance of increasing my FPS. Now, the final two things we're gonna be looking at is how to decrease our ping. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is search for the control panel. Click network and internet, network and sharing center, ethernet, properties, and then you're gonna find internet protocol version four here. Click properties, then click use the following DNS server addresses and put in AAAAA44. All on separate ones, so they're not like 88 like that. Make sure they're all on separate ones and then once you've done that, click OK and you can close off this. Now the final thing we're going to be doing to decrease our ping while playing is searching for the control panel again. Go into network and internet, network sharing center, click ethernet, properties and then click this configure button here. After you've done this, click advanced and then you see all these settings here. You're going to make sure energy efficient ethernet is turned off then scroll down until you see all these wake on magic packet settings and you're going to make sure all of these are disabled once you've disabled these and make sure energy efficient ethernet is turned off go to power management and make sure both of these boxes are unticked once you've done this you can just click out of all of these and then that's your ping going to be much better while you're playing I do hope that you found this video helpful guys and if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.